Andrew, this is the worst idea since Microsoft buying TikTok. I mean, look, digital money is all the rage, whether it's crypto, buy now, pay later, remittances, anti-fraud tech. And you're telling me the best big bet PayPal can make with $39 billion is to buy a second tier social platform? Of course not. Uh, Pinterest and PayPal are just not as compatible as the optimistic scenario suggests. Pinterest makes basically all its revenue from advertising. PayPal makes its money managing and moving money. Uh, Pinterest succeeds when it attracts and monetizes consumer attention. PayPal succeeds when it makes it easier to pay people or businesses. Now, I get why people are fooled into thinking this is a good idea. There's this buzz phrase, social commerce. Facebook is getting into payments in crypto, which might make PayPal think they should get into social wrong. Uh, when corporate profits are fat, stock prices are high, sometimes companies get mission creep. They start hunting for growth in dumb places. A couple months ago, PayPal was supposed to be thinking about launching a stock trading platform. Hey, PayPal, you can buy Ally Financial for less than Pinterest. Keep your eye on the ball. Okay, but, 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 aren't Pinterest and PayPal both tools that retailers can try to use to make more money? Well, Andrew, on the other hand, at this from the business's perspective, it makes perfect sense. I, if, if I'm a business, I want to find customers and I want them to pay me. A combined Pinterest and PayPal solves both of those problems. PayPal absolutely has to get smarter in the social commerce loop or at risk getting cut out of the future of transactions. I mean, Facebook is trying to suck retailers into its environment with its shops and tools, potentially layering in its own payment options. Shopify is similarly deconstructing e-commerce and could sideline PayPal as it introduces buy now, pay later options. And Apple is gaining share with Apple Pay. Buying Pinterest gives PayPal a trove of data on the consumer trends that it can marry with its data on purchase patterns. And sure, the price for Pinterest looks like a lot, but both stocks have run nicely since 2020, and Pinterest growth is slowing down. If PayPal can get this done as a stock deal now, in a couple of years, it'll look like a smart move to protect its flank and add social data, Andrew. Okay, so here's if, if Pinterest growth is slowing, why pay this much, though? Well, uh, if I'm still arguing on that hand, you could say they're not paying that much. I mean, look what Pinterest stock has done over right. the past 12 months. It has been more expensive. Uh, but right. there are also other things that PayPal could buy. I mean, look at Iron Source. If it wanted to get into the kind of app mechanics and gaming stuff on the digital side, that's what, only about $11 billion, I think? Right. I can't let you off the hook because we always do this. You tell us both hands. Which side? What do you actually <laughs> believe this time? Well, I will say that yesterday on Tech Check, I argued the first hand. I might have convinced myself more on the second. You know, sometimes I convince myself. Okay.